I am connected to Metal Gear server as Oracle user. In this session, we will take a look at an alternate method for unplug PDB in Oracle 12C. Disadvantage with unplug PDB option is we cannot open PDB after unplug. We have to drop it. I will create a temporary folder. I will set up Oracle environment variables using error env script. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist EBA. I have a saved SQL script called ptbs.sql. This contains a simple join on dba underscore ptbs and v dollar pdbs. You can see here I have pluggable database ptbhr. In this session we will take a look at how to use dbms underscore pdb package as an alternate option for unplug. Let us look at the steps for using dbms underscore pdb package. First, we have to open PDB in read-only mode. Then we can use dbms underscore PDB describe procedure. This procedure accepts two parameters, XML file name along with path and PDB name. This procedure will create an XML file containing all the details about pluggable database. Then, we have to copy PDB related data and temp files to a temporary location. Then we can reopen PDB in read write mode for users to continue using the pluggable database. Now we will have the data files and XML file for PDB. We can plug it into another root container. I have a pluggable database PDBHR and it is already open in read write mode. I will open PDBHR database in read only mode using force option. Now PDBHR is open in read only mode. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for pdbhr database and save the output into a file. Now, we will generate XML file for PDBHR database using DBMS underscore PDB describe procedure. This procedure accepts two parameters, XML file name along with path and PDB name. 
This procedure will create an XML file containing all the details about pluggable database PDBHR. I will exit from SQL Plus. I will edit PDBHR files .txt. I will create copy commands to copy these files to a temporary folder. Now, I will copy all the data files and temp files for PDBHR database to a temporary folder. I will log in to Oracle instance again using SQL plus assist EBA. I will open PDBHR database in read write mode using force option. Now. PDBHR is open in read-write mode, so users can continue to use this pluggable database. I have connected to Crete server as Oracle user. I will create a temporary folder. I will secure copy PDBHR related files from Metal Gear server to this server.
I will create folders for data files and temp files under error data folder. I will move PDBHR related data files to the proper location. I will also move PDBHR related temp files to the proper location. I will examine PDBHR XML file to check the original location of data files and temp files. On this server, I have placed data files and temp files in a different location. Only difference is the database, instance name and the PDB name. I will set up Oracle environment variables using error env script. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist DBA. As you can see here, I don't have any PDBs on this server. Now I will plug PDBHR database with new name PDBHR development using XML file. I will specify source file name convert clause. Source location is snake slash PDBHR. Target location is Altair slash PDBHR dev. I will specify no copy clause because all the files are already in proper folder locations. I will specify temp file reuse clause. I have successfully plugged the PDBHR database with new name. 
Now, I will open PDBHR development pluggable database in read write mode. I will query V$ data file and V$ temp file for PDBHR development database. In this session, we used dbms underscore pdb package to describe a pdb without unplugging it from the root container and we plugged it into another container. This method allows us to copy original pdb without unplugging it. Remember, the disadvantage with unplug pdb option is we cannot open pdb after unplug. We have to drop it.